Good evening. It's lovely to be here. So, from 8-bit chip tunes to fully orchestrated scores, the soundtracks of our gaming experiences have, have evolved beyond all recognition. The intensity and subtlety and beauty of this year's nominees provides yet another reason why video games are the most exciting art form around. Let's have a little look at the nominees. Original music. Assassin's Creed Revelations. Batman, Arkham City. Look what I found. Don't touch it, man. He'll kill you. Deus Ex, Human Revolution. Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. L.A. Noire. You needed the money, so you killed her. That's not true, goddammit! I thought you'd been under fire before. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened? I expect you to draw your own conclusion. The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. And the BAFTA goes to... L.A. Noir. There's one person I have to say thank you to first and foremost, it's Brendan McNamara, whose <laughs> his extraordinary vision is L.A. Noir, and without him, we, we wouldn't be standing here, so thank you to Brendan. Um, well, it's the second award of the night and the first win for L.A. Noir for original score. How does it feel to hold that BAFTA? <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry Speechless. I didn't thank my wife and my children in the room. Well, congratulations. It feels extraordinary. I'm shaking all over. It's wonderful, absolutely wonderful to be recognised. To be here at all is wonderful for British music, for, for the game, for everything. We're just so proud of what we've done. We're so delighted to be recognised and it's extraordinary to have this as well. And I think that the, the entire L.A. Noir project, it was a, it was a marathon um, a development process and then post-release it's been a bit of a sort of emotional roller coaster for everyone involved so I mean to, to win a BAFTA must be a, a terrific no, absolutely. sort of absolutely, I mean Bren, yeah, Brendan wanted the very best for anyone for himself and for everyone that worked with him and I think he, he really you know, made us bring out the very best in ourselves and I think also musically now games are so adventurous and so fantastically achieved so you know to be in that competition as well tonight has been amazing. And with, with the soundtrack what was what was the guiding principle what, what, what were you trying to achieve in the game? And we were trying to achieve atmosphere and what I think was fantastic was that we were able to do that in a very creative way in a non-generic uh, production way we were allowed to be free and open. when Brendan came to the last orchestral session we did at the studio he hadn't heard a note of what we'd done he came in there in the way that um, you would have found with Bernard Herrmann doing a score for Hitchcock. Hitchcock would have gone in and said, right, what, what are we doing today? And suddenly there's this energy, an extraordinary thing that happens so little these days with produced music. So I think we gave a real freshness and, uh, and a live approach. And yeah, a, and I think thank, trust, trust yes. to do what we felt we and, could and, do. And to, be, and to take chances as a result. And, and I think hopefully that comes across. And do you think uh, composers and music and video games, do they get enough respect or are they look down on by peers well, in other industries? I think, cool. uh, I think the proof's in the pudding, so... <laughs> well guys, massive congratulations, yeah, have a wonderful you. night. Well thank done. You thank you so much. much.